Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond and I've got another tutorial for you. This time not on OBS, but on YouTube Shorts in specific. Because today, at least not that I know of, there is no way to change your uh, thumbnail for your shorts after you've uploaded it. If you've uploaded your short on your desktop computer or on your mobile phone or other device, It'll just upload and you can enter all the, uh, the details and then it's just there with a randomly generated thumbnail. So let me demonstrate if I have a bunch of uh, shorts here. If I click one of those to edit it, then I can scroll down to where I would normally change my thumbnail, but there are no thumbnails and it technically says it's in Dutch here, but it says at this moment you cannot change the thumbnail of your short. And people have had the same issue all over. I've browsed the internet, I've searched for solutions, but there is a solution. There's only one way to do it though, and you can't change it afterwards. So this is important. So as you can see here on my phone, I'm going to the YouTube Studio app. I'm going to my content and I want to upload a short there. So I go to shorts and Again, if you want to edit an existing short, there is just no way to change that thumbnail. You can click the edit button. You can click the thumbnail that's there all you want, but there's no editing option. So you go into editing the short and there's all kinds of things you can edit. But even if you tap the thumbnail there, nothing pops up. There is nothing you can do with the thumbnail. You can edit the title and all the other uh, options that you have there, but none of those options show you a way to change the thumbnail. Even if you go to the, the extra settings there, there's all kinds of things you can do, but there is no option for a thumbnail. So that doesn't work. Once the short is uploaded, there is no way to change it afterwards. So how do you do it? Instead of going to YouTube Studio, go to the regular YouTube app. There is a plus button at the bottom of that app, which you can click if you want to make a short. But instead of recording, tap the left icon to go into your library and it will look for videos that you have made with your phone. So if you've already made something that you wanted to upload, just tap that video and it will show you the video. You can still make edits there. And once you're done with that and shortened your video to a maximum of one minute, I suggest staying a little bit below one minute, you tap the ready button on the bottom right there and it will start processing the video. Once it's done processing, you get another menu where you can again uh, add some effects or stuff that you want uh, on the right side of the screen there. And once you're done with that, just hit the check mark on the right and you will once again see your video. It will play for you. And if that is what you want, if you're happy with that, there are still some options you can do there. But when you're satisfied with the result, tap the next button on the bottom right and there, the thumbnail on the top left will have a pencil icon. That's where you can change your thumbnail. So that's before you've finished uploading it. Tap that pencil and now you can select a frame from your entire short that you want to make the thumbnail. Simply slide the slider at the bottom to the exact frame that you want to use and that will be your thumbnail and afterwards it will be fixed. There's no way of changing it afterwards again. So if you're happy with that, you're done. That's how you do it. That's the only way to do it, to upload it through the YouTube app, not YouTube Studio, and then edit it, edit the thumbnail as you are completing your upload. Now, if you want to have a specific image for your thumbnail, then make sure to edit that in the video before uploading it. So I've edited some of my shorts on my desktop computer. You can also do it on your phone, of course, if you're, you're you know, very uh, proficient with that. But I just like to do it on my PC because that's for me, that's easier. And I just added a little thumbnail right at the front of the video. And it only needs to be one frame long, as long as it's in the video. So I made a really short thumbnail at the start that barely takes any time because, you know, one minute is already pretty restrictive. So I put it there and then when you edit your short, when you're uploading it, you can again scroll that bar all the way 
to the beginning in my case, because I put it at the beginning. You can also put it at the end or, or somewhere in the middle, depending on what kind of video you're making. But as long as that thumbnail is edited in before you upload the video, or maybe you can edit it in during the upload, if you're, again, if you're very handy with that, uh, that app, then you can select the exact thumbnail you want. And then you just continue doing it normal way, fill in all the details and give it a title, et cetera, et cetera then upload it and once it's done processing you will have your selected thumbnail for your short and there you go i hope you found this video useful if so please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please also consider becoming a patreon saint by going to my patreon page you can become a supporter for just one euro per month it's greatly appreciated and really helps the channel but already liking and subscribing is already a big help so let's hope that youtube will add this functionality to youtube studio in the future because as of now youtube does not have the option to simply upload a thumbnail for your shorts after you've uploaded only way to do it right now is how i showed you by uploading it through the regular youtube app and having the frame you want as a thumbnail in your video because you can't upload it afterwards and you can't do it in youtube studio at all which in my opinion is ridiculous why not have that functionality just like you have with regular videos so please youtube please add that functionality. That would be a great help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.